Intelligent design is the concept that biological life on this planet presents structures that can only be explained by means of an intelligent creator agent, a designer. This is the scientific aspect of the issue. For some of the finest refutations of the scientific validity of intelligent design, you can visit the following channels. In this video, I shall not debate the science facts of biology. In this video, I will refute once and for all the core idea behind intelligent design. Design itself. And to be honest, that's all there is to intelligent design, just an unfounded, persistent idea. I do not oppose the right of anyone to be religious, nor am I attempting to deconvert anyone. I'm merely discussing the idea of intelligent design. Intelligent design, intelligent designer. The argument goes that, just like when we observe a designed object in the real world, we intuitively know that it is the product of a designer, similarly, for the designs we find in nature, we should be looking for the currently invisible designer. Early on looking into intelligent design, we run into an assumption. The assumption that design is a somewhat fixed thing, that cars, watches, houses have a basic design behind them, and also the assumption that design requires a designer. Well, let's put that idea to the test. This is a house. No, no, this is a house. What is a house anyway? Never mind, probably it does not work too well with houses, right? Okay. This is a car. No, 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 this is a car. No, this one. Well, what is a car? There must be a catchy example of design somewhere. Okay, here is a clock. No, 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 no. Here is a real clock. Well, what about that clock then? Okay, I quit. This is no design I'm running into, this is a whole other pattern. While a specific car design is required to manufacture one car, it is nothing more than what the pairs of genes are to an offspring. It is not design, it is just the blueprint of one individual of the population. Yet that design does not define the whole population of living mammals or cars. Let's see how this insight works with houses, cars and clocks. We can see that certain forces affect the design of all these objects with time. The forces include utility, necessity and availability of materials and technology. It seems, therefore, that cars, houses and clocks are subjected to laws similar to the natural selection of biological evolution. Ideas to serve necessity by function occur, they are tested, those that work remain, they develop further. They change as new methods or materials become available and as the necessity and utility themselves change, much like species of organisms adapt to available resources and challenges from the environment. Never and at no point there is something that was produced for the first time by a designer we know in a highly developed and widespread form. None of the design objects of this world appeared with the functions they have today or the ones they will have in the future. And what is mostly certain is that nothing ever produced was ever perfect on its first version. Now let's put my proposed idea and intelligent design to the test. Let's use cars. For this we do not see cars as isolated singular objects. Design does not exist, it is a word. What exists are all the contraptions humans have made to move themselves and their goods faster and easier at a longer distance. In the beginning there was the rolling log. Now wait, I remember, intelligent design says something about irreducible complexity, right? Well, the first version of mechanical mobility is probably a cylindrical tree log used as a rolling platform on which to move heavy objects. It could possibly come out of nothing, while humans witnessed the tree log rolling. What would irreducible complexity say? The parts cannot work outside of the hole. Yet the most basic form of car wheel ever, the rolling tree log, is fully functional on its own, pretty much without the car. As human skills became more complex, a surface was added on top, then the log became a thin wheel. Then an axis would connect each pair of narrow wheels to support a platform. The driving force would change from gravity to human labor to animal labor. The available technologies would change the materials used, the refinement and the durability of vehicles. The use would shape the form as well, and the eventual advances in technology would bring about engines. 
Those engines, like wheels, axles, cogs, screws, steering wheels, windows, mirrors and other things, are not at all exclusive to or made specifically for cars and vehicles. Those properties are elements to innumerable human applications, just like some genes or biological mechanisms remain the same throughout several different species. The first engines were powered by steam, next came the internal combustion engine. It was smaller and more powerful than anything. For the first time cars could run fast enough to make a sport about it. But the same combustion engine is used to power generators, pumps, airplanes, submarines or chainsaws. Who is the designer? What part of the design is common? With the advent of advanced industry and the mass production, cars changed even more. With the advent of electricity, batteries and electronics, yet more complex contraptions with other prior uses were added in the features of cars. More and more species of cars would be adapted for new needs, environments and new features would be added while technology grew. Indeed, all intelligent design would have to say about cars is there is obviously a designer. The first one sent in seminal thesis in the world. What use can we have for that kind of research? However, the concept of evolution can explain cars and their history far better than design and as well as it does for species of living things. Because the concept of evolution in general and that of biological evolution have a sound logical basis. Design attempts to explain the entirety of this biological history just by looking at individual snapshots in biological time. Then what? There is no use for that. Evolution, on the other hand, is a whole history of the populations of species. A history linking the snapshots some people see as separate. It is the best estimate of how life transformed over time on our planet for an unimaginable amount of time in constantly changing environments. It's useful, it's explanatory. And beyond that, an evolution-based thinking could be able to contribute in explaining most of the things around us, from matter and stars to types of governments or artistic movements. Design, on the other hand, is quite useless if no one has the phone number or email of the invisible designer of biology or any other field of research. Even when a designer designs an object, his design is just a snapshot of a whole universe of parameters. His design is based upon ages of evolving knowledge that he found ready to use and adapt. The very first flint tools humans made took ages to evolve and perfect. The flint tools helped man evolve and man evolved the flint tools. Yet the first flint tool was just a found naturally sharp stone, a product of a random process. Cars help man evolve and man evolves cars. Yet the first car part ever was a dead tree. Nothing has actually one designer. So where is your design then? Where is your intelligence? It seems that all there is where intelligent design looks to base its logic is evolution. Not biological evolution, the broad term of the word evolution. Something adapting over time to serve changing functionality and challenges. Design is merely a word with versatile use. It sometimes happens to express the documentation of structure of an object. But design itself is just a parameter in a procedure that is driven by multiple factors over time. Design itself is not the driving force of anything, let alone life itself. Design is a word assigned by humans to communicate certain things and to separate them from others. It is not a universal constant of sorts and it cannot explain biology in a meaningful way, even if you add intelligent in front of it.